Okay, so Rikada has been just this is just a real short Rikada thing. Rikada has been like drunk. So every time that I've been banned off the social media platform formerly known as Twitter, it has been after yelling at either Dick Masterson, aka Juju the Cow, a man who got fucked in the ass by uh, his girlfriend. Um, and Nick Ricada. So now instead of, I've just blocked them. Like my, my strategy is just to completely ignore these people on the social media platform, formerly known as X. So far, this has been working. I think I've managed to stay on, on Twitter longer than ever before at this point in time. So, um, I get, I get these little droplets of him ranting about me from the, the thread still. And he just sounds really drunk. Um, so I'll just read this, actually. Rikita was over half an hour late to his stream last night, even though he was seeing about Nolan on Twitter shortly before his stream was scheduled to start. He then got extremely drunk on stream alongside his Jenny Valhalla Waits and another Law Tube Orbiter. You may recall that Rikita Airbnb, where he stayed prior to the live show with Dick Masters and others in September, was revealed to be a Playboy-themed property called the Playmate Lounge. And then he admits this. It's great. Also, okay. well, I have dirt on one you. Of those I think, was a meal. I think that's you, you definitely have dirt on me. Therefore. I think that's what it is. I think I have dirt on you, and therefore I get away with things that most YouTube yeah. chatters can't get away with. Any anybody who's hung out with it. me in person for thirty eight. <laughs> This has dirt on me. That's embarrassing. <laughs> Listen, like, y'all. Let me tell you something, right? We got back from Nashville. I was talking up Nashville for a fucking month, two months. Yeah, I was so exactly. excited about Nashville, right? We get Austin, to Nashville. So, uh, we funny. hang out for the entire weekend. It was awesome. I had so much fun. The Never would have fun with me. I'm not fun. The day we get back from Nashville, Nick's like, hey, man. You shouldn't tell people we're friends. They're going to come after you. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck am I supposed to do with that? <laughs> I've been talking about it for two months. All of a sudden I get back and I'm not supposed to say shit. Imagine it's funny because he hasn't said that to anybody else. It's purely just he doesn't want to be associated with you. Imagine having be. the That's hubris. What That's what I thought. Imagine yeah. having the hubris to think that I watched your show for two months before Nashville. I didn't say you did. Y'all, he had his Mustang parked behind the, the B&E, and I pulled my Dodge Ram behind it, and for a half a minute, I was like, I bet I could drive over the top of that fucking car. You definitely could. I, I was For a half second, I thought about it. I was like, I bet I could just drive right over the top of his car. How much it, fun was that B&B, though? Like, for real, how much amazing, fun was that B&B? amazing, bro. That whole weekend was fucking amazing. Does every, like, is everybody that was there okay with being there like can don't I... talk don't talk about anybody who was there okay i, I, I don't i don't I think anybody really, cares i got I don't to meet think... a, a whole lot of awesome Sorry, i was waiting for a bunch uh, of people that i didn't a specific part which i can't i wish i let me bring this up on the um another thing where i should have time stamped it because what happened is explained in the post but he says that he did a like a strip dance for his jammy or a pole dance dude i did a pole dance for you and your wife pole dance for you and dude i did a pole dance for you and your wife and you paid me more than your wife did so you know <laughs> for a fact that you're not a random can i call um, out a chat that's the clip that i wanted uh bizarre i don't know i don't want to say too much because it's just like it's just rikita being rikita and there's no point because if i say anything it'll be like i don't even know but that's what he's up to. He's taking, he's pole dancing for his jannies now. Uh, oh, this is where he did it. So if you want to imagine, if you want to uh, open your third eye and imagine what this uh, would look like in person. Here we have the Playboy themed Playmate mansion that Rikado rented. Now imagine Rikado naked uh, or in a Speedo or whatever doing a little little dance a little tease on this pole uh for for his jannies for a private showing of the Rakeda goods for his jannies so they will continue to sweep it up for him maybe this is what provoked those people to register on my site eight fucking times and try to argue with people in the thread to derail it they know 
that if they do a good job counter signaling the Kiwi Farms, Rakita might just put on the Speedo and the Baldo. Imagine, imagine that outline. Brian Dunn, eat your heart out. Imagine the outline in the Speedo with the Baldo on. Maybe the Baldo even hanging seductively out of the out of the Speedo as he does a little dip, a little upside down, rolling around on that pole for him. That is why. Uh, those people are so motivated, so dedicated to, to helping out because they know the goods are coming at the end of the day. Rakeda will will give them their, their comeuppance. Uh, and then this, I don't I have not seen this. It's 16 seconds. Okay, perfect. Excellent. Uh, Shelly says, just ask you apologize for raping our one child. I will never apologize for raping your one child. Your child deserve it. They wore a skirt that was too short. <coughs> this guy's face is just like... I'm on Aussie Overlord is sitting here thinking my face is in this clip. This clip is going on YouTube. The the clip where Rakeda says that your child deserved to be raped has my face on it. And that's going on YouTube. And when this is presented as evidence for the wall trials of 2030, I will be in this clip. I will be implicated in its depravity forever. I will never escape this fate because I accepted the offer to appear on this stream to try and advertise my, my fucking bullshit ass retard channel. Sorry, I was literally reading a comment that says I'm reading comments and dying inside. Just a little bit. This man, I assume, I think he's also like, I would assume, I don't know anything about him, but I'm assuming that he's like a, a law tuber for Australian law. And as Rakeda says that your child deserves to be raped, he very quickly, it's like uh, in a high-speed car, it's like he slams on his brakes, throws it in reverse. He's got three seconds to make this, this pull-out convincing as he skids off, and he thinks, ah, I'm going to pretend I didn't even hear that. So when they line me up in the, the, the wall hearings of 2030, I can just say, I have no fucking recollection of this. And it's on record that I was reading a comment when it was said, which is why I didn't object and, and prevent him from saying this retarded ass shit. That is a true legal maneuver. That man's an expert. I'm sure he's done de depositions before in his career. Great job, my boy. Um, after the show, Nick got back to what he was doing before, laying off some scene about Noel on Twitter. Okay, he says, I don't burn burgers, gays of burns, bridge me knee for literally no reason around four in the morning, his time. So you see this message? I'll repeat this. Uh, legends live forever. Ask Rakeda another bridge to burn. Rakeda law replies saying a bridge to burn. I don't burn burgers, gays of burns, bridges with knee. For literally no reason. Sorry, Gator. <laughs> uh, amazing post. Thank you, Rakeda. You know that post so good. Here, wait. I'm gonna I'm gonna say a, a toast to Rakeda. Wow, that alcohol really hit the spot. That was a fine. That was a fine aged whis whiskey, and it really satiates my. My appetite, my thirst, if you know what I mean. Rikita really outdid himself with that one. I think that he should uh, toast if he wants to enjoy himself just a little bit because he's earned it. He's earned it. Especially with that um, Rumble contract. He says that he's back in rene renegotiations with Rumble. So, uh, sorry, Kiwi Figs. You got you to gotta cope and see. He's going to re-sign with Rumble. Um <clears throat> Potentially, because he's back in renegotiation. So that's that's a winning move right there. That's something to be celebrated with a drink. If there was ever a time to drink, it would be after scoring that renegotiation with Rumble. That's well earned, chat. Well earned. Stop drinking my buffalo sauce. No, <laughs> never. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CAC of Remember to like and subscribe.